What's going on everyone and welcome back for a new video. This right here is a 5000 sub special and today I'm going to show you guys how to raid different bases. This right here is Taco Bell. Taco Bell I'm pretty sure is from Royalty PvP. I pretty much just wall downloaded bases and I kind of just saved them to make this video here. This right here is our box. Not really sure what happened with it but that's not what we're going to look at today. Today we're going to look at the defenses. So this right here is just normal walls. Then you see you have these filters right here. These filters here is a Aligned with the base, meaning that you can't bypass them, meaning we would have to actually go through them. They do have uh, walls inside the uh, roof on that's probably why let me put my speed one here that's probably why you can't see it as you can see right here the wraps this here is pretty much the base now today we're gonna look at flaws in the base and to be honest i don't remember i have downloaded this base i just uploaded it uh, so i am just looking at it right now the first thing you notice is that i can't really seem to find any reverse layers with water and this all this right here is dry uh, as you can see right here everything here is dry and there's no reverse players so when you look at a base you have to determine what server you're playing on do you have plenty of uh, cx can you fly in other people's bases can you not fly in other people's bases uh, do you get a lot of tnt how many people are in your faction all those things is very important now let's say that uh, the server you are playing on has plenty of cx you can't fly but you have plenty of cx this base right here doesn't have any wraps uh, sorry uh, reverse layers with any water meaning you'll be able to reverse up to the entire base and it's just the Determined where you're gonna place your cannon. Now, let's say that you don't want to build a 255 and that exact that. This has no reverse layer, so you will pretty much be able to reverse everything. One thing you can do that is that you can use a cannon to go into this right here. So let me game mode one. So if let's say you go into this right here, this right here, yes. Let's get past all this. So what if you want to go for some of the spawners right here? Uh, let me get rid of it died here. There we go. So what you can do is that you can use a cannon to single stack all the way up to right there And then you can lower your barrel by one and then you can have a perfect reverse Right here and as you can see it's gonna reverse up to everything because there's no Reverse layers whatsoever. So you'll be able to go to all of this right here Of course, you didn't really have to fire right here You can do it out there as well It just it doesn't really matter and you'll be able to get the spawners right here and you'll be able to sack him do whatever so that's why there's the cheap way you can always just use at 255 and rate people as you see like we rated these guys at 200 why 200 uh, which is not bad but still you'll be able to bet do it a lot cheaper and a lot faster if you just did it at let's say where is it at at y 70 there's less sand to stack and less tnt used and the cannon is not as big you'll be able to reverse up you'll be able to get pretty much everything um you just have to adjust it a little bit the further you go you'll be able to get all of these right here so it that is like you could have done it over here as well because the, the the thing we're looking at right now is that you have this entire two by two you can do whatever you want you can do it wherever you want and to be honest it's not really a problem since they don't have any sand walls they have filters but not really any sand walls at all the you saw small pillars right there that that's pretty much what they have they have nothing else than that there is two pillars of sand that's it so it will be a lot quicker to actually use that probably be a lot better as well to use it since they don't really have anything look you have sand pillars right here you have sand pillars right there but that's pretty much it so using a 70 stack and use that reverse layer right here i'm not really sure why they would make it with no like water in between the like their rooms uh, but it's fairly simple to just reverse reverse up it's not gonna take it's gonna take 15 minutes to to get to all the bay uh, to to the entire walls and just reverse up very very fucking simple because they don't have any water layers and that's why it's so important to have water layers as well next up we have noodle boys noodle boys is i'm pretty sure the one on royalty i'm pretty sure uh, but let's go ahead and take a look at their defenses so let's go ahead and take out all the way out here now to server royalty you'll be able to unload chunks and get rid of sand walls so that is one way to do it uh, but as you can see they have plenty of sand walls they have a checkbox all right they have filters they have filter they have filter they have filter they have slap filters uh, so these guys is, is heavy armed uh, so and say so what would you be able to do let's go ahead and take a look inside the base this right here was inside the base we didn't raid these guys uh, but this right here is pretty much what they had this is where the ids and stuff are and this right here is 
the collection room, I guess. And then they have a reverse layer right here. See, the last base Taco Bell didn't have any reverse layers. These guys have a reverse layer. So you're kind of forced to use at least a 210 stack, as you can see at the courts right there, to get into this room. Now, if you had CX, you would be able to see it on top of these glass, gla glass right here and just sack it. Uh, but if they didn't have these glasses, it's going to be quite hard to actually do it. I see you'll be able to do it right there as well. But you'll be able to use these glasses to see it, pretty much all of them. So you can use a 210 stacker to get into this space right here. Because they do have this reverse layer, which is making it impossible for us to actually do anything. It's also extend out, as you can see, right here. So we can't just bypass it. So you need to use at least a 210 stacker to get in. But in that case, it will be much, much simpler and much, much faster to just use a 250 or something like that. And just go to all the way at the top because if you fuck up you lose the glass there's no way to get all of these it's pretty much simple right here because they have reversed it you're kind of forced to do something and because they have all those sand walls you won't be able to reverse uh, a rev hybrid anything like that because th this just too many sand walls you'll have to go through it like y1 so it's, it's not really going to be worth it they have extend reverse layers as well i'm pretty sure uh, let me go over here that's probably yeah they have extended as well so very simple just go at 255 because you have that reverse layer next up we have nox space also from royalty i'm pretty sure this is map four or three these guys have been on the f top many times these guys have won many many royalty map many many austria maps so i'm pretty sure these guys know what they're doing now what did do have is one two oh actually i need to do it over here one two three four five six six filters um they don't seem to have too many um sand walls uh they don't seem to have any sand walls to be honest and that's uh probably because you could just unload sand walls on on uh, on royalty I'm pretty sure you could do it in Austria as well, so it was really not worth it. Uh, but I'm sure if you were not allowed, uh, if you couldn't do that, they would have way more sand walls. Um, so six filters, no sand walls. Let's go ahead and take a look inside the base. This right here is I'm pretty I'm pretty sure this is quite early in the map. Um, so it seems like you have some creepers over here. Oh shit! What happened? Okay. So the first thing I notice is that the spawners are very, very split up. So you have the spawners right here, and then you have spawners all over here. Like, so it would be impossible to hit both of them. It would literally be impossible. So you'll have to hit for uh, either of them. This right here is pretty sure that's just vaults and grinders. Not really anything in here. So there's not really anything down here you want to go for. Nope, not not really anything you want to go for here. Um, no, nothing, nothing. Nothing, nothing. Okay, so the first thing I notice is that the spawners is all the way up here, yeah? At two, f let's say we want to aim for this because that's pretty, yeah, that's self explaining. So that's a 250. Um, there's no reverse layer, still no reverse layer. Um, okay, so here's the first reverse layer at like Y100. Um, you could use, and since this is a world border base and this ID, IDs are right here. You don't really have any backboard to help you. Besides this right here. This right here pretty much makes a perfect backboard for you to reverse directly up right here. But you kind of need it to be in the middle to be able to sack it as well. So it's going to be kind of hard. I guess you could backstack it right here and get water on your sand stack all the way out here and then reverse up and then take it from there because there's no there's no water layer so you sh could be able to use like a, hun a 100 stacker and get in and do all of these magic things that you can when reverse uh, scatter um, to save you a lot of time to save you a lot of trouble to save you a lot of tnt um, but again that's based on creeper eggs if you don't have any creeper eggs you just have to go directly for the spawners but these guys has no reverse layers as well only down here so using a 100 stacker is a cheap way um, it's probably also a little bit faster since there's no sand walls you have six filters no sand walls so a 100 stacker sh would actually be a little bit faster than using a 255 to get the spawner but that, this right here was a uh, nox uh, base Next up, we have a faction called Winterfell. As you can see, they have quite a lot of sand walls. They have two filters, and they have this little small base right here. This right here is is just sugarcane farm. The base is right in here. So let's go ahead and go go through the base and see what we can find. So right here, they still have water, so we don't want to go there. Right here, they have their creepers. 
Right here, they have the silver fish. Is there two blocks in between? Yes, it's even watered, so you can uh, get into both boxes unless you cannon from either this way or this way. So, so, so either west or east, you'll be able to. And let's go further down. So the, these guys have fairly spread the spawners quite a lot. This is going to make it hard for us to actually get most of the loot. Reverse layer. All right. So as you see, this reverse layer here makes it unable to go up. Uh, so you are forced to use a bigger cannon. More reverse layers. More reverse layers. More reverse layers. Uh, and is that for... Okay. And then they have... Okay, so this is the bottom. And you have more silverfish down here. And the first reverse, reverse layer was right down here so you could potentially again you could scatter up right here but it's not going to be worth it i would use a uh, two let me see 240 to 45 and then i will aim for this spawner right here and before i move to the other ones i would go down in the base i would literally go all the way down here and I would get all of these spawners right. Let me go down. Let me go. Down. I would um, I, I would downward hybrid all to all of these. Get all of these spawners as many as I can, as uh, of course. And then I will move uh, over to the next one. And then I will get whatever I could in here. Then I will cannon into here and get whatever silverfish I could get from there. And that's put. That's pretty much it. That's the only way you can pretty much do it since they have all these reverse layers. They do have a fuck ton of sand walls, so there's no way you can just reverse up, make it easy. Uh, so you would have to actually use a 240 to get into this space. Also, this is because they split the spawners in so many ways. So let's say that this all right here was in one room and you had no reverse layers. It would be fairly simple to just scatter up. But because they split the boxes up like this, there's water in between. There's two, three different rooms with spawners, and it's going to be very, very difficult. And one of the one of the, the other things is that they also have this extent. As you can see, that like the boxes itself is completely watered. There's no way to do anything. So this this reverse layer right here is extent, so you can't just bypass it somehow to go on. You could right here, as you can see. But that wouldn't really give you anything. It would just hybrid right here. Wouldn't really give you anything. So that's pretty much what you have to do. This right here was Winterfell. The next one we have here, right here, is from Psycho PP. I I helped uh, some guys raid this base right here. Well, let's have a look. So there's sand walls and then there's these walls, weird walls, sand walls, sand walls. Uh, no filters. Uh, there's quite a lot of sand walls though. But let's go ahead and take a look inside the base. Oh, they actually do have a filter. Okay. So I picked this base right here because this right here is very, very weird. As you can see, they have a locked chest up here with water and lava. And down here, they have a layer. And then they have these boxes right here with nothing in it. Nothing in it whatsoever. I I'm not really sure what happened here. Down here, they have nothing. All right. Well, that's a plus because the further down we go, the smaller the cannon we need. Okay. So right here, there's the spawners. But again, this is very difficult because look how every single box is completely watered and in different places. I'm not really sure what's worth it, uh, but oh, look at all these spawners right here, just completely obbied in. Almost impossible to get everything at once. So you have to shoot from somewhere where you will get the most out of it. So if you're shooting this way, you will get um uh, if you shoot right here uh, yes so if you shoot right here on this one you would bypass this one but you'll be able to backstack and hybrid into this one to get the endermans you'll be able to get the villagers which is right here you'll be able to get the uh, horses which is right here now if you wanted to go for the slimes you could do oh sorry the the ghast you can do that as well but you'll have to either use um Adjustable barrel, which I would probably prefer, but at least this one. But if you don't have one of those, you could go into. You have to aim right here, and then you would get into the horses. You'll be able to backsack to get into the um, the ghasts, and then that's pretty much it. So it's very difficult, but again, you will use a 200 stacker to get into this. There's really no other way to do it because they this just reverse layers everything, and you know, very difficult to get into these boxes without actually because you can't sec up it's going to be very difficult you might be able to get into the hoppers maybe maybe that's the way you could get in and sec them but if you could do that you could go like you could go all the way down there but it's not really i don't know if it's going to be worth it oh right here this place is completely obbied in everything is just absolutely protected here so it's very difficult on how you do that but i would definitely go from the top I would go from like th either way I showed you guys and then after that I would actually go down I would actually uh, hybrid down to get whatever is under it like right here I'm not really sure what this is but so right here's the IDs you'll be able to hybrid down just before you hit the horses or something like that to hybrid down and get these right here 
and then you'll be able to hop it down to get whatever is in 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 line of the cannon. Uh, so 200 stacker and get those bonus, then downward hybrids. It's pretty much the most simple way to do it. That's not really any, any other way to do it because you have all these layers with water and whatever. And scattering up wouldn't help at all because this this box is completely watered in. There's there's no way you can sack him. Uh, so a 200 stacker and then of course downward hybrids. Very very simple technique. Very profitable if you if you know how to do it right. But this was this was pretty much the psycho PP base. Next base is uh, Polar from Austria PvP, I'm pretty sure. So you can see these guys have already been raided. As you see, they have sand walls. That was for um, uh, checkbox and the sand walls. And I'm pretty sure that's it. This right here is Polar. I'm not really sure why that junk is not loaded. Here's the checkbox. Um, pretty simple. So some of it, some of these here might be a little bit damaged, yeah, and I'm sorry about that. This right here is a hell of a lot of spawners. Uh, <laughs> I can say that for sure. Uh, let me just make sure if, if, okay, that's the end of it. And over here they have, they don't have anything, all right. And over here, okay, it's DF Creepers. Fuck the Creepers right now, we want to get for the fucking uh, zombie pigments for sure. Okay, so this fight is quite damaged, but the defense is pretty much the same. They had a few sand walls and none, no filters. Let's see if they have any reverse layers. No reverse layer right there. Uh, you'll see they have reverse layer all the way down here, which is pretty far down. Look at the corners right now. 120, 110, 100, 80, 81. So already here, you'll be able to go quite far by just scattering up. Um, and especially with such a big faction that is online most of the times, they had uh, four sand walls, which is of course going to be a little bit of a pain. Uh, but if, I think it would be cheaper in the long run. You'll be able to get water down. You'll be able to sack some of all these spawners. You, of course, you wouldn't be able to get as many as many if you were actually uh, shooting straight. Uh, but if you have the TNT for it, I would just go directly for the spawners. But if you don't have that much time or TNT, uh, go up since you have no water layers. And then I would just get a hole in here and get water down and then you start sacking. But if you do have as well as these guys did, I'm pretty sure this is us actually. They used almost a 2 250 to get in and scatter all of these spawners. This is pretty much the simple way to do it. You'll get a lot more spawners out of it. And that's how I would do it. I would save up the TNT to get a lot more out of the raid. Uh, but if you don't have the TNT, if you don't have the time, there's no reverse layers. Reverse all the way up and just make a big ass fucking hole and just start sacking. This right here was Polar, I'm pretty sure this was Ostia PP as well. This right here is Autism uh, and they were F-Top 2 on Royalty PP map 4 I'm pretty sure. They have plenty of sand, they have plenty of filters all the way out, look how, how they made all that. Uh, but what's interesting is in, of course, inside the base. So they have a very, very big base, meaning you'll be able to spread the spawners over a large, large area. As you see, we did raid them eventually, but we didn't really get as much as we hoped for, because as you can see, this is pretty much what it is. The first thing to think about is what should you aim for? You should, of course, aim for the pigments, of course. Now, the world border is on this side and this side, meaning the only way would be this side to get most out of it. Because if you're shooting this way, there's not really as many as you would if you were aiming this way, you know, shooting this way. So let's just pretend that we're going to have our cannon right here and shoot all the way to here. Now, they did the, f the pillars kind of kind of nice since you won't really be able to get as much. If CX were kind of cheap, I would uh, get water down. I would aim right here to get water down all the way and use sex to get whatever and spread it all the way out. But if you're not... If you don't have any sex, I would just go find pillars where you get most of them. And that's pretty much it. Now let's go ahead and take and see if there's any loopholes. See if they have any reverse lays somewhere. If you don't really have the TNT for it, um, that's definitely the way to go. Um, let me just make sure I do it right here. Um, so this right here, I'm pretty sure is the... Yeah, that looks pretty good. Okay, so I'm at Y150, still no reverse layer. I'm still going down. Here's our first reverse layer, right? Yes, here's our first reverse layer. So we're limited to, to this up here. You would need to find something right here to go to. This right here is pretty much the design. It's going to make it a little bit hard. So we need to find some water somewhere. There's not really any water. Uh, this is going to make it even difficult. You could use your, you could use, use the reverse layer right here. 
uh, to go up because if you get rid of this right here you'll be able to have water uh, you'll be able to do some damage as well but the reverse layers right here why 116 they have so many spawners spread over a large large area meaning if you were to reverse scatter you wouldn't really get as much out of it you it's I would say it's not really going to be worth it because you do have uh, lots of sand walls, lots of filters. So I would use I would use uh, two, uh, 255, 252, get water down, use as many sacks as you can while you scatter out all of these spawners right here, while you slowly sack whatever you can in range. Uh, that's probably how I would do it because they do have a lot of sand walls, you do have a verse ladder the Y120, you do have plenty of filters. Uh, so that's pretty much how I would do it because the sand walls makes it impossible to do anything quick uh, and efficient. So two again 250 and go down. This right here is autism royalty map three. Next up we have autism which is from Austria PP. Plenty of sand walls, plenty of filters, they have five sets of filters, they have plenty of sand walls as you can see all the way out. This is going to make this very very difficult. Let's go ahead and go straight into the base. The first thing you, you see is that uh, is the roof out, which is, I don't like. So let's go ahead and take a look at the spawners. So they kind of did it the smart way and put the spawners in three different spots. Uh, the one thing I noticed is that I would probably shoot from over here and shoot this way because you'll be able to go through the uh, pigments you'll be able to go through the pigments and the IGs and you made them in a straight line as you can see right here so it should be fairly simple to just scatter everything out right here go directly over to the IDs scatter start scattering out right here um, but I did I, I, I would go with a 250 250 yeah 250 probably to get water down again because you can use the water to get more with CX as well as the the um, obby right there, which is very annoying if you try to sack them. Um, so I would probably go at 250 again and get it. Um, but again, that's the easy way. Let's see if we can find an exploit in this space right here. Uh, the first thing I see is that they have a reverse layer at 200. This is gonna make it almost impossible to us. It's also extend. You won't be able to bypass it in any way, and they for sure have. Uh, enough that you can't really do anything. So you could use a 200 sacker to get in and then try your luck with sacking and uh, and the pearling. Uh, but again, it's well defended with sand walls, so on and so on. So a 250, uh, get water down, get whatever you can. That's pretty much how I would do it. The last base we're gonna go to is a faction I am not familiar with. I had it in my downloads from a long long time ago. I'm not really sure who these guys is. They have four sets of filters. They have uh, two sand walls each filter so that's eight sand, fil uh, sand in each plus two more right here. Nine, ten sand walls in total. Uh, so it's going to be difficult to, to do anything at low Y level. Also, the base is absolutely huge, meaning they'll be able to spread the spawners in a way. They split up their very uh, expensive spawners from the very non-expensive, I guess. I don't know how the economy would look like, but I don't know if it'll be worth it to go from these spawners, uh, like go to these spawners here instead. Uh, than the IDs, but I'm gonna assume that the IDs is gonna be way more worth it. So, they have set up the spawners as you can see right here. Very difficult to get more than one line or two lines as you can see right here. So again, I would go from 250. As of, as of I know right now, I would go for 250, get water down and sec whatever I could because there's lava. So if you had insects, I would probably do that. 255 again, but let's see if we can find a cheaper way. Uh, let's say that you want to reverse. Now, th the problem with that is that they spread this much, so it's going to be very difficult to get all the spawners. Uh, but again, it would be a cheap shot. The first thing I notice is that there's water down here you can use to reverse up on. So you could use, instead of a 250, you can use a 140 to reverse up these chests and get a lot of the things over there. Now, the first thing, uh, I know there's walls this way right here. So in theory, you'll be able to uh, actually go to these right here you'll be able to cannon through these right here boom 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 then you stop back stack a little bit and then you'll be able to go up and get whatever spawners is in red line of this right here get water down and you'll be able to sack whatever you can scatter whatever you can with the cannon and then you'll be able to go further into the chest right here back stack a little bit again again this right here is at 130 so it's way more cheaper and way faster than actually using a 255 
uh, they don't have too many sand walls, so a 230, 240, uh, no, sorry, a 140 should, should do it. Again, you'll be able to get almost all the spawners of the IDs at least, because they choose to place these chests down here. And because you don't have that many sand walls, it will, I think that would be more worth it than using a 255, because that's a lot of work, it's a lot of sand, so maybe that would be better. Um, but of course, if you have to TNT, use a 255, go with it, mate. I'm not really sure with these over here, there's nothing you can reverse all right down here, so you would have to use a 250. Um, let's see if you'll have to use that. What's this down here? Okay, a little bit of water. Uh, not worth it. But if you did go for them, I would downward hybrid. Uh, or down or down scatter, whatever you call it. Use the slap bus to get into these rooms. Okay, so you do have a reverse layer. Uh, but it's not extend, meaning you'll still be able to scatter this wall right here if you want to get something up there. So I'm going to continue go down. So right now we at Y... Okay, so at Y70, around 70, Y65, you'll actually be able to go into the wall, backstack a little bit right here, and then actually just scatter all the way up to the top. And you'll get a small amount of spawners, so if it's a quick raid, if you don't have too much TNT, maybe that's a good solution. They do have 10 sand walls, so it's going to be quite a bit too to get rid of but if you have a big scatter it's not really going to be that big of a problem but again um, that's three that's three different ways to to rate them i would probably use this chest it, even if there was so much tnt um that i would never run out i would still use i would still use these chests right here because they're right under the ids and you can just like <laughs> oh shit you can just scatter directly up and, and get all of them this is, should be pretty simple right so that's definitely a flaw that they put these chests right here, because instead of using a 250, you'll be as able to use a 130, which is a hell of a lot better, a lot of more pre-stacked sand and stuff like that. But I'm pretty sure I think that was pretty much all the bases I, I quickly could find for you guys. Hopefully you guys learned a little bit about it. I know there's a lot of other opinions about how to raid a base, but this is just quickly what I saw with, uh, with like within a minute. They do have a lot of sand walls, so one stacking is not going to be a possibility. But this right here was pretty much the last base I'm going to show you for this video, guys. Again, I hope you guys learned a thing or two, and if you have any suggestions, for the other videos leave a comment down below and if you liked this, this kind of video let me know as well down in the comments so, so i know what you guys like but i think that'll be pretty much it for this video here guys hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you do want to like this video here and comment down below if you have any suggestions questions again any suggestions but as always guys remember to subscribe to my channel my name is dexter and i'm out